It's a me, a Patrick, and today we're gonna be building a piranha plant. A chopper, 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 chopper. You heard it right, citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. We're going to be making an Audrey 2 esque puppet. And I know what you're saying. Audrey 2? I don't know what that is. Shame on you. For shame. It's from the movie Little Shop of Horrors, where Seymour has the alien plant, and it goes from small, you know, medium, large and then super large at the end. We're going to do stage two, which will be the part where he walks around, especially during the stage performances. Search Audrey 2 Puppet and you'll find it like part two. He walks around and, you know, does a little talking, has a fake arm attached and does a little talking there. That's pretty much the long and short of it. Let's get into the supply list. The first thing you're going to need, you're going to need some kind of foam, whether it be a camping mat. This is cheaper, so think about that if you're especially going to cover it spray foam. Um, this is a nice skeleton. It's not as stiff as the, the puzzle foam, or the, um, the fatigue mat foam, but I like it. This is a little less dense, a little more porous, and it may not be something it's kind of hard to paint on, so if you're going to use it for a skeleton, yeah, if you're going to use it for something to paint, not so much. But it's good. It's like, I think this was eight bucks for this entire roll. This is something you put under your, your camping, it's a camping mat. You put it under your sleeping bag to keep rocks from jabbing you in your ass as you slumber. There's that foam, the puzzle foam. I'm going to be using this primarily, but the other stuff I wanted to show you because it is a cheap option. Also, you're going to need spray adhesive. This stuff is really good. Uh, it works on a lot of stuff. You're going to need the glue gun and, of course, glue sticks. You're going to need a paint because you're going to be painting some of your products later on in the build. So you're going to need your color of paints, whatever color scheme you're going for. You're going to need these little furry things. I went to a hobby shop and found these little fur furry stems. Like you can put fake foam flowers on them. But I wanted some for roots and some for maybe some random vines hanging out. This is an optional piece, like I was talking about. But it adds the all the more realism. If you want to drop your build by six bucks, go with, go with none of these. Because this was three dollars a little pack. But it's quite a lot and it's going to make it look really good. And I'll show you at the end build. You're going to need some of these foam sheets. This has an adhesive on the back, which is pretty good, but like, you know what I'm talking about, the little foam sheets that you would use in construction, kind of like a foam construction paper. You're going to need some wire, some of the um, smaller wire. I uh, believe this, this is actually electric fence wire, 17 gauge. It was $5 for this entire roll. So five bucks ain't bad for an entire roll. It may have went up in price because I bought this a long time ago. But yeah, there you go, small wire. This is going to be able to make your, your flowers bendable. Strapping, because you're going to need to strap the flower pot to your body. One strap will do. This was like a buck fifty. You're going to need your trusty old yeller, as I call her. This is my razor cutter. Spray foam, because didn't I tell you how diverse it was? However many colors of felt you want. Now, you can use different types of fabric. Here, this is an optional fabric. The felt is a little bit, it's furry, it's cutesy, it, it, it is synonymous with puppets most of the time because you'll see they have that fur skin and you can get any color you want. Okay, to make the head, we've got here with the football pattern. I, I bought a football and I cut it because I wanted it to look like this. I seen the football and I said I want it to look much like that, having, you know, resemble it because I can carve the foam down after I've got the initial design. This will be for the skeleton, the foam. Now to do that, I just cut the football in half and you'll come out with something like this, which will be a section of it. Now this section is what you're going to need to cut to form two sections together to make the top and the bottom halves. Now let's get in here close and I'll talk about it while I'm doing it. After you get done, this is what you're going to look like, you see? Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Fame, Simo! And what you're going to do is we're going to glue the insides in, and then we've got this right here because we're going to foam it. So let's make the insides. Now, after you've got this made, taped, um, glued, however you connected it, because you could use duct tape if you don't have a hot glue gun, but it's going to be a real pain in the butt. 
because you're going to have to have somebody else help you put the duct tape on while you're holding the form. But there you go. You see kind of like the idea. It's, it's taking its shape. But you're going to cut things in the middle to put your to make the bottom of your mouth. Of course, you're going to use the smooth side pointed outward. You're going to glue it in because I know what you're saying. There's not really no room to put my hand in. And that is because we're going to, after we're done foaming it, to make it look more, to give us better customization of it. We don't want to set apart, say, this side. We go ahead and cut it right now. You can if you want to, but I'm going to go about it a different way. I want to spray foam on both sides and see how the foam expands because it could expand differently. You know, it could do whatever it wants to. So I want to be able to choose which side I want for the opening of for my hands to go in and which side I want for the lips and, say, the teeth. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to spray on the other side. What we're going to do is we're going to hot glue it in there like this. And you see there's you know, still not you know, a lot of room. There's enough after, we, after we've cut it on an angle. We can run our hands up in both sides. And So let's put the foam on there, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, now after your foam is expanded, it should look something like this. Now you're going to want to add some more on the inside and let it expand however you see fit. You know what you want out of your, your build. You want it to look like the plant, and I did a little bit. I went in here and I sprayed more, because you can't spray it on both sides at once. Sprayed more, let it, let it get nice and start to expand. Then what you're going to do, because I've already got one prepared, one piece prepared, is this right here. Now, after you've got all the foam done, you're going to carve it. And um, by carving it, if you want to see more about carving the video, at the end of this video, there are going to be links to a couple others of my cosplay builds where I use this foam and how to carve it, and I go in depth there. But all you do basically is you take your, um, your razor cutter, and right now we can hack a little bit off here. You just take, you cut away from yourself, of course, you, you just you'll carve and shape it as you see fit. And believe me, this is uh, this is real fun. You, you always got to go a little at a time. I'll, that's what I would say about that. Just a little bit at a time. You're going to get it carved down to a shape much like this. See how the difference between one to the other? This is what you're going to end up with. And as you can tell, I spread on the inside a little bit just so I could carve a little bit of that. Now what you're going to do, you can actually use a 220 grit sandpaper. 220, make sure it's a fine grit sandpaper. Because what you're going to do is the thing you're going to notice is when you carve, you're going to make little high rises and things. You take that sandpaper and just smooth it down a little bit. Make it look more organic. And don't fret if you have big lesions or like gaps and bubbles. Like what I did with the other video, I filled in, took back foam and filled in again. Now granted, it's going to take about two hours for the foam to thoroughly cure good and hard where you can carve it without it getting all nasty. But that is what you're going to look like. And see, there you go, if you can tell what we've got here like that, I just took and then you'll pick which side that you like that, that actually looks the best for you and carve it right there, just the top and a little bit off the bottom on each side because you want it to look flat. You want it to be flat on the side. You don't want it to be fully football because you want to be able to stick your hand up in it, just like that. Okay, now we're going to be using some felt right here. I will say there is a difference between felt and fleece. I found this out the hard way because fleece is way way better. It is very smooth, it's stretchier, it's softer, and it would have went way better right here and actually stuck a little bit better. I had to use a lot of glue and I had to really stretch it because the felt it gives but it doesn't give as much as fleece would, the fleece type. And you'll see the difference for yourself is when you go to the hobby shop and you start feeling around on the fabrics. Now the reason I stress that is because right here you see me really working those wrinkles out and it would have been so much easier to work those wrinkles out if I had a stretchier red fleece instead of the red felt. The felt I would keep for like the interior of the mouth, maybe the tongue, um, so always keep that in mind. You're going to come into problems like that but like I did here I made it work. I'm cutting the excess off and trying to keep the wrinkles to a minimum on the on the lips here. Now what little wrinkles there is, later I will cover it with some pink. But you see me cutting off all the excess, everything that isn't glued. Spray the glue down, stretch it the best you can, and try to keep all the wrinkles out. And that's gonna be a that's gonna be a battle in itself. But don't give up and stretch at it and you see there, 
I am at this stage here where I'm going to cut the pink interior of the mouth out. Now, I have a piece of pink fabric that come actually from a, a, a little purse that I had bought that I was customizing for someone. I spray it. It's a little wet. That stuff will dry and I just stick it on. I had to put the plastic down to get a clear measurement of where the, the pink has to be. And as you can see, there is beautiful. That is beautiful. And I just pat it down real tight, trying to shove it in there. Because you got to wait a minute to get it sticky. It's really not an immediate stick, but it does have a very tight bond, that spray adhesive. I tried not to do a lot of hot glue here with that fleece because it has a tendency, if sprayed on abundance, it was um, a problem. But as you can see here, the felt little white pieces, I tried to paint white on there. And it would have worked if I really hogged it on and had no other option but I use the white felt better and it actually worked way better. Now you'll see me um, change gloves here. That latex glove did not work with this with this spray adhesive. I got some on and it started bubbling and oozing so I had to take the glove off as you can see right there. Now I have a naked hand. And now you see with a bigger glove just slowly putting these on. Now, to get it to take the felt taking to the actual Fleece was hard in itself because it kept wanting to stick up, but you got to work towards it. Now we're on to the mouth part, which is the white fleece, same as I used the, for the dots, the polka dots, and we're just doing the same basic thing. All I did there was I, I went to my grandmother's house and got some push pins, or some straight pins, or whatever you would, for fabric, holding fabric together while you sew it, and it's held the fabric on well while I pulled all the wrinkles out and the wrinkles pulled out quite well here um, on the fleece because like I told you before the fleece is extremely easier to work with when it comes to stretchiness so I'm just touching up here easy peasy after it's dry I take the push pins out and I peel it back and then I use the glue to glue the top down Right there, I've doubled this over, so this is two ply worth of fleece. I've laid it on top of itself to make it a little bit thicker so it would stand up, stand up off from the actual felt that I had, the red felt. So it actually gives it a little bit more realism. And I'm just cutting off the excess, really working towards cutting all this excess off as I can. Because at this point, this is going to be the finished product. I used my fingers, though, to roll it under and glue it better. But there you go. You're going to cut little pieces like this. Whoa! No more than that, however big you want it, because what you're, what we're aiming to do is we're going to take our snazzy, and don't worry, you're going to get little things in your felt, you can cl clean up at the end, but you have these two pieces, just like this, whoop, and you've got, see, I've already glued two in. I glued two in on either side, and then I'm going to take it, make sure, before you glue the second piece, that you have it in the placement that you want it to be in, and make marks, which I did. I made little marks little marks where um where I want them dead center to be two center lines then the two other lines and then I'm going to glue them together really tight and after you get the wide strapping for the mouth area got felt all over me um once you get the wide strapping it's going to work at also to keep it from from the jaw going this way and that way you're just going to be up and down hopefully by the end of this because we're going to put a a, a a collar of, of leaves on him and everything so he's gonna be pretty sturdy and plus your hands gonna be in him because when your hands not in him you don't really expect him to hold his shape he will do what he wants so I did a tongue now you can make one that controls with your finger by making a little finger puppet but I haven't the time or the the brain power at the moment to, to want to do this I've been working on this for about three or four days I'm I took our trusty little friend, his um, he says, "You and me" on it. Um, I will use that heart somewhere else probably, and the, all the hair too. You how cute he was. I ripped his spine out and um, skinned his back, and from the meat from his vertebrae, I was able to make a tongue, a very floppy tongue, by the way, and I attached it to one of the pieces of leftover strapping, <laughs> and it's just going to be in the mouth. Speaking of the mouth, let's put the two pieces of the head together for the hinging action. Just to give you a better visual feel, you see there's a line here I made and a line down here on the bottom. I've butted them together and as you can see, like I told you, there was going to be a lot of um, a lot of tight space in there, but you're going to, this is your bottom, you know, your bottom gel, so it's all good. You're going to take, just however you wish to maneuver it, put your glue on there first. 
And be careful with your glue. Like I said, you want to put a pretty good bit, but you don't get too much. You're going to, you're going to uh, not burn yourself, which I almost did. Come real close to put my hand in it. Push it as tight as you can. Oops, bow over. Stick down in there like that and attach. Now we're going to be using the fatigue mat here. We're going to cut a disc like that and we're going to roll it up in that, making it a little cylinder. And we're going to put a lip on top of the cylinder to make it look like a warp pipe. I'm using duct tape here to make sure to hold it in place while the glue sets. Be careful not to burn yourself. I would use gloves if, you ha if you're prone to burning yourself. Now after it's dry, I'm going to remove a lot of the tape. I'm going to leave the part on top here because when I put the lip on, it's going to cover up a majority of that. As you can see here, now I'm taking my old faithful and cutting a nice little elbow wrist and a nice little divot in there so I can, my arm can go in and out. Now at this point, I keep holding it up to my body, making sure I know that that is the placement and the feel. And now we're going to take that bad boy outside and give it a paint, a nice coat of green paint, and we will be done with making the warp pipe. Now that that step's over, we're going to be making leaves. Now these are some templates I made so I can make a multitude of them. I'm going to make about four or five of these to go around the neck of the plant, and these are going to be more of the down the stem of the plant. So it's going to be really awesome. Uh, let's get over here. We want to make them uniform, and I'm going to show you how to do it. We got this sticky back foam. Now what we're going to do is make sure that we cut this, or at least draw it on here out of foam. We're going to take our scissors, move the template over, and do the best we can to follow the lines. Look at this. This is like kindergarten all over again. But adult kindergarten. And there you have that. Now you see there's some sticky stuff on the back we can peel and stick, but before we do that, we're going to take our wire. Now this wire is going to allow it to bend. You probably you don't want to get too far. You may want to put a little inch beyond what your leaf will be because you never can tell. You may want to use that or implement that because it's mostly just going to be inside the foam area. Because you want to protect yourself. Now what we're going to do, we're going to lay it down where we want it. We want to take this and look. Because this is peeling stick, we're going to use it. We're going to use it to our benefit. That's less spray glue we have to use. And all we do is we peel like that just peel it up and then believe me once you've stuck this stuff it's it's there so don't you can actually see look at that that's even sticking and I ain't even got nothing on that let's see what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it down here and this will help hold it in place it actually will help hold it a lot we flip it and go a boop, and we lay it down rub it on that felt oh yeah rub it on that felt mm. <laughs> and there you have that. Now we take boom Loctite spray adhesive. That's what I'm using. It's a high performance. 200. It's right in the middle. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's easy and it's a mist. There we go. All right. Now it's all rubbed down. What we're going to do is we're going to take the other piece and we're going to take our spray adhesive. Any adhesive will do. They make some. It's like 350. It's like Elmer's glue, but I would really, if you're going to want it to stick good, it's 10 bucks a can. This is going to be probably one of your um, higher end expensive pieces, but you can use this on anything in the future. Make yourself another one. Now what you're going to do is shake it real good. Just shake it up real good. You're going to spray right in here. You're just going to mist it. And what you're going to want to do, make sure you're getting it around the edges as well, because you're going to have a little overhang because the overhang is going to be used to make a little fringe on your on your leaf. All different types of fringe, making it look more organic. Because you want your things to look organic too, even though it is made of felt. There it is. We pull it and we rub it on in there. Rub it tight. Rub it down that edge. Make sure you're sealing the two edges, bonding the fleece, the, um, the little fleece, the um, felt, that is not fleece, the felt together. And um, you can't really see what's going on right here at the moment, but... We have got it connected good. Take our scissors, we're gonna cut.
And after a couple hours of work, you'll notice that we have a, a bunch of beautiful, cool design little leaves with little jagged edges. We got the big ones here. We made a bunch of the big ones. And we got a few of these small ones here. Now what I'm talking about with the wire inside of it, let me set one of these down and I'll give you an idea, is with the wire inside of it, you can, you can give it the old benderoo. And it'll bend right back and bend in all different directions. It'll look more organic, you know, because you what what you can't do with like you can't make it you can make it look really detailed too. But if you're making it look cutesy like this, then you need to make it as you know put as much time in organic things like the wire and bending of the leaves and holding of that shape as you can because that makes it look real and also fake at the same time. If you get where I'm coming from. You gotta make it as organic as possible. But that will work with all of them. Because even with these small ones, I put little bits on it. So there you go. You can have all kinds of little leaves. It's also work with ears. Keep that in mind. Ooh, I can put raccoon ears on my Mario hat. Ooh, next step, we have got a warp pipe. Boom! Right here, you see the back we've cut out for the arm. Just like this. We're gonna start working on this part. What we've got to do is take some of them leaves, like I told you before, glue them right here and here. Just make some hot glue, put them in there, and now you can do as whatever you, you wish to do. And we want to make our strapping so it goes around our belly under our shirt. Because when you're walking around the party, your arm's here, you've got a fake arm holding it up here, but you, you put your hand here to make it look legit. Now, you don't want to sit here and have to keep your arm tight to it. You would like to be able to take your arm out, you know, you know, do like that, or really sell the puppet's realism by reaming out. And you don't want it falling off of your your chest onto the floor because you don't want to ruin your product. Lashing strap. You're going to have to adjust it. Now, what I like to do is take off this end. Makes it easier. I mean, then we can adjust how we see fit. Let me get an idea. Find where you want it on your, your body. You're going to want to come right about here and then come out right about here. Because you don't want a lot. You want it to be, you want it to, you can always reinforce the foam and make it to where it'll hold its shape better. But you don't want to make a big gap because you don't want this being seen. This is the selling the effect phase. Um, you want to make it look like your body's holding it up. So you want to take and you want to make as little of a seam as you can. You want to make sure that you fit the strap in appropriately. I want to make sure the buckle is on this side. So I will fit it in this way. You're walking around. This is under your shirt. You can always double back and put some Velcro there if you want. And there you have it. But after you're done doing that and preparing that, I want to show you a few little odds and ends that I did. Nothing too serious, nothing too big. Actually, nothing real important if you've already done all this. Don't forget your teeth. If you're going to put teeth, because a lot of them don't have teeth at such an earlier stage of the build, like with the Audrey 2s, but I wanted to put some teeth because of Mario. All I did was take some of that foam that I had that I used to build the actual this and the others, and you got plenty of scrap because it actually comes with some scrap you pull off to connect them. It made little teeth, and then I covered them with the white felt I had. Now that we're done with the leaves and other things, we got to make the actual green sleeve the same material. You can use a different material if you want. I may double up and make a double material on here. That way I can cut some um, holes and such in it. We're going to see how, how it looks when, we're, when we get the first layer. But what we're going to do, now we're going to make sure to put a little about, about an inch more than what we need because we want to flip that on the inside and glue it together so we can turn it inside out. So it's about five inches I'm thinking because that's, well, let's say um, six because I'm going to put a little fringe and all. Now after you're done gluing it together, it's going to look like that. But what we're going to do is, oh my god, what's going on? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Eat your heart out, Martha Stewart. Now as you can see, it looks just like a sewn together little piece. Like just like on your sleeve you're wearing now. Comment below if you actually looked at your sleeve. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we got the felt and we're going to double the felt up because what we're going to do is we're going to take our guy, we're going to put him on his head um, the other way, I believe. And what we're going to do is he's gonna, it's gonna, we're going to try to lamp it over. We're going to hide the seam that we're going to make. We want it to be tight because if we want it to be tight when we're going to cut little, little 
flowers in we're going to put the leaves in there but we're going to connect the two sides together all right now we're going to do is make a two ply fleece so we're doing spraying it together and connecting the two and making a big piece now we're going to run some down the seam here make just a sleeve just like we did before by flipping it inside out we have a nice little seam now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut little leaves in the end all the way around it because we're going to stick the head in the end of the um the leaf end so it looks like he's he's busting out of a bud he or she whatever whatever you decide for your plant um audrey too is a girl's name of course so i guess we're a big girl but in the movie it sounded like a dude so i don't know whatever to each their own but anyway we're slipping it over there just just enough to where it's connecting and being able to be glued on both but not enough but not too much you don't want to cover up the head that you worked so hard on now we're taking some push pins like i discussed earlier and pushing it down just a little bit just enough to hold it in place while we peel it back like a banana and hot glue it down just like we did there and we make sure you put the seam on the bottom of your plant because you don't want your seam to be on the top of the plant or where it can be easily seen because you're going to be um, gluing leaves over it. So there you go. All right, at this part, we got our sleeve, our smaller sleeve. You run your smaller sleeve up like that. And this is what you want. You want a tighter sleeve to make it look better and, you know, more life. And you're going to put, you're going to attach things to that anyway. But this is a little bit big of a sleeve and you want it, to, it's going to look gaudy. So what we're going to do is we connected it with the bigger sleeve, but we're going to taper it down on the bottom just like we did here, but it's not going to be as wide. And we're going to taper it down to like a bud and then we're going to cut it on the end there or two and we're going to glue leaves on it. So we've got to figure out an uh, area that we want it to start because we're going to glue them two together or sew them, whatever you have on hand. I'm gluing them. Okay, as you see here, we did end up using a tiny bit of thread. Now the glue, I glued it and I actually think that super glue would fit, but I really wanted this to work and make sure that it works. So if you're really wanting it to work, your best bet is to, um, is to do a little bit of sewing. But what I did was I just made a little pinches you can tell there and on there on this side just little pinches nothing too serious we're going to cover it with leaves anyway and we're actually fixing to cover these up with the sleeve that we just did and you can um, cut the sleeve if you want I'm not going to really cut it too much because I'm going to glue stuff over it I'm just going to do it like that and glue some leaves over the the work so let us do that right now All right, now that you see we have this little sleeve done you could cut this and fringe it up which I may do because what I'm going to do is you see there's going to be some bendage here. That is going to be covered by big, big, big leaves. So big leaves are going to be covering up here and, of course, on the other side. And then probably one on top. And one on, we'll move it down just a touch because you don't you want to offset them because it opens up. Not all of them open at the same position. So keep that in mind. Make it look organic. Make it look cool. And um, we're going to start laying the leaves up. We are finished, ladies and gentlemen. We have our wonderful piranha plant slash Audrey 2, whichever direction you went on the build. We went piranha plant, but this is definitely Audrey 2. You'll see the puppet. Um, you'll see kind of my skin right there. But, it, you know, it goes down in there, hides real well. I want to explain more about the stuffed arm I have here. It's a little mix of foam and teddy bear stuffing all rolled into one. I cut a hole inside the shirt. I have attached these wonderful things. I put two gloves, one stuffed and one on my actual hand, and I'm holding it because the glue or the Velcro hasn't really set yet. Uh, I want the Velcro to be on there because I want to be able to remove the arm and have the plant. So think about that before you start permanently gluing things to other things. Always be thinking ahead, right? But guys, thank you. Please share this video because it was so tough, and I hope if it, if it helped you any, share it with the masses. And if you'd like to know anything else about a build or comment on future builds, then do it in the comments below. Or I'll sick him on you. Hey, guy, hey, hey. Look, you made my arm go limp. I can't get mad at that face. Comment, rate, and subscribe!
Yeah, baby. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Don't do that inside the pot. That's nasty. That's nasty. That na 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 nasty. Oh, ho, 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 ho.